Hey you guys, do the wheels on your 3D printer look something like this? Do you know what this is and why does this happen? In this video we will look into this and give you all the details, so if you want to know more, just stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui, and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, as you know, most 3D printers on the market have their axis carriage running on wheels. These wheels move along the aluminum profiles and have some advantages and disadvantages when compared with linear rails or rods. These black wheels are made from palm, which is also known as delrun, and can have one bearing or a couple of bearings with a spacer in between. Each carriage can have three, four or even more wheels, and you can adjust the grip of the wheels on the profile. To adjust the grip, you need to turn an eccentric nut located next to some of the wheels. The whole of this eccentric nut is not centered, and by turning it, we can move the wheel away or closer and this way adjusting the grip. This adjustment needs to be done correctly because if the grip is too loose, you will get wobble on the carriages. In other hand, if the grip is too tight, the wheels will develop flat spots. You can notice these flat spots if you let the carriage sit for a few minutes and then manually move it back and forth. While moving the carriage, you will feel like there are bumps on some spots along the travel and this can cause printing quality issues. But what really happens to the wheels after some time if adjusted with too much grip? To find out, we ran a simple stress test. We installed brand new wheels on our Creality Ender 3 machine and we adjusted the eccentric nuts to get a bit of a tight grip on the wheels. Then we wrote a G-code to make the X and Y axis go back and forth continuously for several hours. A few hours later, we could already see some debris from the wheels on the X and Y axis profiles. At the end of the test, and as we can see, there is also some debris on the wheels. With a closer inspection of the upper wheels from the X axis, we can clearly see some amount of wear on the wheels and the debris from it. The amount of wear on the bottom wheel is bigger when compared with the top ones, because at the top we have two wheels sharing the compression. The bottom wheel has too much wear as we can see from the images. This debris is often confused with dust. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison. At the left we have a brand new wheel and at the right we have the used wheel. For this image, we cleaned the debris on one of the sides of the wheel. The main reason for the wear to be limited to this specific area on the wheel is because the V-slot angle on the profiles doesn't match the wheel's angle. The angle for a perfect V-slot must be 45 degrees, but sadly, this is not the case most of the times. Same thing happens with some stock wheels. For the y-axis, we have the same result. Wear on the wheels and lots of debris. This is why a correct grip adjustment is important. With a correct adjustment on the eccentric nuts, there is not much wear on the wheels and they will last much longer. Below in the video description, you can find the link for our video explaining the procedure on how to correctly adjust the eccentric nuts. On the market, 
you can find other solutions that will offer better performance such as these polycarbonate wheels. These polycarbonate wheels don't deform as the stock palm wheels, so they will not develop those flat spots that we mentioned in the beginning. The good ones are also equipped with better quality bearings, which will help to improve the performance. However, this does not mean that you can have much tighter grip when using these wheels. They will accept a bit more grip when compared with the stock palm ones, but too much grip will wear these polycarbonate wheels as well. Although these wheels have better construction quality when it comes to the angles, we still have the issue with the profile's angle not matching the wheels. And that's it you guys! Hope you liked the video, we will see you guys next time! Bye!